Hey guys, Anthony Beckham here. Welcome to the channel where real estate is life. Today, we're gonna be making 100 cold calls an hour, which I know this is something that most salespeople hate and they hate making cold calls. They would rather give up their firstborn son or lose their entire life saving in Dogecoin. But today, we're gonna be doing it, so stay tuned for some live cold call action. So there's only a couple of programs that you need to get started whenever you're cold calling. What we use is the Mojo Dialer, mojosells.com. You can check that out. They're a good one. I think that there's some other cheap options out there, but just myself and my team know how to use this particular program. So that's what we've continued to use. What it does is it calls three different people at the same exact times, and you can save in automated voicemail. So all you gotta do is click a button and it can continue to leave your voicemail over and over again, which whenever you're making a hundred cold calls an hour, that's pretty important. It saves you a ton of time, which you're going to see today. So the other, the other thing of course, is that you have to have phone numbers to call. Now there's plenty of different services that you can use for it's called skip tracing, where you basically upload a list of addresses and then they send you the phone numbers for it. For this particular list, we used LexisNexis but there is a lot of different um, programs out there. We use REI Rail most of the time now for skip tracing services. Starting in three, two, one. So we are starting by logging you are now into, into the Mojo Dialer. The Mojo dialer. The start button on your screen, begin calling. And uh, we're off. How come the only people that answer is real estate agents? The party you are trying to reach has not set up voicemail on. And this thing's just going this whole time. Just make sure. Music. We're nine calls in. We've left several voicemails. It's an automatic voicemail dropper that I already had recorded. I don't Thank know. Thank you for calling Pathé Machinery. This is Amanda. How can I direct your call? Hey, Amanda. It sounds like I have the wrong number. I appreciate it. Oh, no problem. Thanks. Bye. Bye. It's been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. 13 miles deep. Zero, three, nine. 20 calls deep. 20? Yeah, just imagine if I was hand dialing each one of these. So that's the benefit of using a dialer is the fact that we're 22 calls deep if I would have just been hand dialing all of these, I would have only had one conversation and it probably would have already taken me an hour. So instead we have three lines that are all dialing at the same exact time to maximize our productivity. Because cold calling can be like that, you know, where you make tens of calls and nobody answers. Which it's after four o'clock right now, which, you know, people start getting off work around now. Hey Richard, my name's Anthony. I'm sorry if this call's a little bit out of the blue, but I'm actually calling about a property that I believe that you own over there on Thora Circle and was just curious if you guys have thought about selling that property or if that's something that you would consider. Uh, we're locked in. We're staying. <laughs> locked in and staying, huh? How long have you been over there now? Oh, uh, almost six years now. Gotcha. Gotcha. Well, if it, if it ends up being something that you guys are thinking about here in the next couple of years, feel free to save my number there's a lot of people that are out looking right now and so there's been they're few and far between all right well i appreciate answering my call richard all right bye. thanks bye hey that was a conversation so that was our 24th phone call really our second real contact and we've left well who knows how many voicemails and all that so we'll keep on going 30 calls deep Three more in process. Five contacts. Oh. Hey, Kathleen. This is Anthony. I'm sorry if this call's a little bit out of the blue, but I'm actually calling about a property that I believe that you may own, own over here on Strauss. Was just curious if you thought about selling that property or if that's something that you guys would consider. No. No? H how long have you guys been over there now? So why are you asking me this question? Because <laughs> I was curious if you've, if you've thought about selling or if that's anything that you guys had had in the plans for the next couple of years there's 
a lot of people that are trying to get into your neighborhood and not a lot of homes come up for sale there because obviously it's a it's not a neighborhood that most people want to leave so I don't blame you well regardless I, I appreciate you answering my phone call Kathleen and you have a good evening okay okay all right thank you bye you know a lot of people that do that not your business <laughs> well I mean why, why are you answering like you know me <laughs> is that what she said no but like I can imagine that because <laughs> you, <laughs> you have to make the assumption like that because if I'm like hey is John there hey Anthony Beckham here how are you doing today I, I get hung up on probably it is John there um, so instead if I'm just like, hey, John, then they're like, oh, fuck, wait, who is this? You know, <laughs> and then, you know, you have a little bit better, Even better chance there. All right. So instead of going straight to the how long have you been there, if they aren't that friendly, instead, I'm going to go, oh, it's a beautiful neighborhood. I don't blame you for wanting to stay. How long have you guys been there? You know, that way it's kind of it leads into it. Maybe a little bit less abrupt might have a better because for people that are like, fuck you. It doesn't work as well when you're like, so how long have you lived there? <laughs> I'm just a creepy dude on the other line that you've never heard talked to before. I know your address, your name. <laughs> yeah. Can I have your social too? What <laughs> time you go to bed? <laughs> <laughs> All right. There's another contact, kids. 32 deep. Thank you for calling Legacy Dodge. This is Tori. How can I help you? Hey, Tori. I think I got the wrong number. I appreciate it. 37. calling really hard right now. I'm sorry, the person you are trying to reach has a voicemail box that has not been set up yet. Hello? Hey, Jerry. This is Anthony. I'm, I'm sorry if this call's a little bit out of the blue. Are you a neighbor? No, no. I, I own a couple of real estate companies here locally in Roseburg. And so I was just curious if that's something that you guys have considered because there's a lot of people that are trying to move into your neighborhood and there's not a lot of homes for sale so it's pretty tough right now 30 singing waters is in uh litigation oh uh, gotcha is that one that you plan on having for sale sometime soon as well i don't know it depends how the litigation goes <laughs> Got, gotcha gotcha well i wish you luck with that well again i appreciate you taking my call and feel free to say my number if if, if that 230 does end up working out. I got my fingers crossed for you. Okay, thanks. All right, appreciate it. Bye. Yeah, I have talked to this guy before. Custom home builder. He he bought those homes and at that time he was going to tear them down and rebuild something, but they were actually both in foreclosure not all that long ago. I was thinking for a second, okay, he's buying project houses. Well, then we flip the thing and we're like, "No, this guy isn't a seller. He's a cash buyer." He's cussed me out more than once. I didn't know that's who this guy was, but well, because I, well, yeah, because I was like, he's like, yeah, it's, you know, pending pre foreclosure or whatever. And I was like, so, you know, would it be worth trying to put it up for sale and, you know, seeing if we could, you know, get out of it? And he's like, I'm not going to let it go back to the bank. I don't need to talk to you. Bit. I'm like, all right, dude. Well, you did. You did let it go back to the bank. And now you're in litigation. And I could have saved you from that, sir. No, I don't know. Hello, you have reached the desk of Maureen Hansen. I'm not available to take your call right now. 47. Hello, this is Anthony. I'm sorry if this call's a little bit out of the blue. I was just curious if you thought about selling that property or if that's something that you'd consider. Uh, no, we have another property we're selling. Oh yeah? Where's uh, that one at? Yeah. That is uh, it down near downtown Roseburg. Oh, gotcha. Um, what, what street's it on? I'd be happy to take down the address. How soon do you think that you'd be, I mean, if we had an offer for you on the table, I mean, how soon would you want to get something like that wrapped up? I don't know, a couple months. Gotcha. Okay. Well, that's pretty yeah. pretty standard. I mean, even if you had an accepted offer today, you're, you're still usually 45, 60 days out. So I guess we'll, we'll drive by and if it's okay, I can just give you a call back and see if I have anyone that seems like they'd be a good fit. Sounds good. All righty. Well, I appreciate it. All right. Thanks a lot. Thanks. Bye. That's a good one. I mean, they're obviously not ready to list. They're still moving out. It's not like they 
they probably don't have two mortgages or anything that they're worrying about with them saying they inherited the house. Um, so they're able to take their time with it, which is which is just fine. And that gives plenty of time for us to do the follow up. This is Anthony. I'm sorry if this calls a little bit out of the blue, but I'm actually calling about a property I believe you may own over here. <laughs> I wish I owned property like that. Um, no, you got the wrong number, man. Ah, bummer deal. You wouldn't happen to know anybody around here that's thinking about selling a property, would you? No, man. Gotcha. Uh, Gotcha. Well, they're hard to find right now, but hey, man, I appreciate you answering the phone. Sounded at the like a stoned kid. Nah, man, I don't know shit. <laughs> Hello, this is Anthony. I'm sorry if this calls a little bit out of the blue, but I'm actually calling about a property that I think that you may own over here on, on Page Road, Strauss. Singing Waters Road here in Winchester, Pioneer Way, Thora Circle Drive. I was just curious if you've thought about selling that property, if that's something you'd consider. I love saying the same thing over and over again. It's really brilliant. How come nobody burped me after lunch? <laughs> <laughs> what do I pay you guys for anyway? We're 59 deep. 59 deep, one person out of those 59 is gonna sell in the next couple of months. Let's see if we can't dig up some more. 67. Hung up on me. 68. Hello. Hey, Brian. This Hello. is this is Anthony. I'm sorry if this calls a little bit out of the blue, but I'm actually calling about a property that I thought you guys might own over here on Page Road. I was just curious if you've thought about selling uh, that property or if that's something that you guys would ever consider. Uh, no, we're completely happy. We'll be here forever. <laughs> gotcha. I don't blame you. It's a beautiful neighborhood. Marie, my next door neighbor, probably. I think she wants to move to California, so gotcha. she might come up pretty quick. Yeah. Had she mentioned whenever she's thinking about heading in that direction or anything? Sure. Well, hey, maybe I can, maybe I'll look into that. I, I appreciate your help. Okay. Talk to you later. Bye. Yeah, thanks a lot, Brian. Bye. 70. Ah, oh, we missed 69. 72. 74. Hi, you reached Julie. If you leave me a message, I'll call you back. I sure will, Julie. 75. Come on, at these last 25, we have to have someone. 76. Hey, Brandon. My name's Anthony. I'm sorry if this calls a little bit out of the blue, but I'm actually calling about a property that I thought you guys might own over here on Page Road. Yeah, I think he was on his way to space. <laughs> So he wasn't able to talk right now. I swear I heard the rockets. Didn't you? Woo! Yeah, don't put that in. <laughs> yeah, I can't talk right now, man. I'm headed to the moon. Hello? Hello, my name is Anthony. I'm sorry if this calls a little bit out of the blue. I think you've got the wrong number. Oh, gotcha. Well, I apologize. You, you wouldn't happen to know of anyone else who's thinking about selling here in the neighborhood, would you? That's the other thing about using that script is that if it is the wrong number, you can say, well, you know, would you happen to know of anyone else who's thinking about selling? And then that's whenever they could say, well, actually I have a property that I was thinking about selling. 84, 91. We got one that was pretty solid though. 100. Hey Bruce, this is Anthony. Was just curious if you thought about selling that property or if that's something you guys would consider. No, we're not, not yet. Not yet? <laughs> What's got you thinking about? Nope. Thinking about selling then? Well, we're thinking about getting something smaller. We're just, just, just the two of us, you know. I'll give you a call. Yeah. If we change your mind. How's that? Yeah, sounds okay. good. As long as it's okay with you, maybe I'll follow up with you here in the next few months and see where things are at if that's okay. Alrighty, well, I appreciate it. Okay. Okay. Right. Thanks. Thank you. Bye. Great. 124, 125, 126, 127, 128, 129, 130. Hi, you reached Elise. Leave a message. Mm, Elise. I was looking for a sale, not a lease. So. <laughs> <laughs> 140, oh my gosh. Your calling session is now complete. All records have been called based on your call settings and advanced filters. Okay, thanks. Would you like to sell a house? Do you know anyone who's thinking about selling? Is anybody there? <laughs> Can somebody help me? So, 
this is how we expected it to go. And this is how it went. I'm sorry, but the person you called has a voice mailbox that has not been set up yet. But honestly, that only took us an hour and a half. We did have a few good conversations. And just imagine the power if you sit down and you did this every day. Adding a few new leads to your database, you're going to be making sales in no time. For the cost of hitting the like button, you can support the channel. We appreciate all you guys watching and if you could please hit the subscribe button to follow us on the journey to real estate millionaire, we would really appreciate it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to comment below. Let us know what you think of this style of video and we'll see you on the next. Thank you.